Hey, it's Panzer Coons here. And in this video, I want to talk about how you can edit or create your own skins from pre existing skins. So, in the last video, I showed you how to upload them. And once you have them all uploaded, depending which ones you chose, like this one for the FW190D, uh, the, the guy that made these, these are basically just all chrome. So, they're empty, only the, the accents are colored. But for winter, you see that it's all chrome. And then it just has um, kind of like a light bluish there, darker, brown, and I have a gray, and then a red. So I can choose any one of these and I can superimpose any camel you want to take up the space where the chrome is. And all, you, all that will be left is the accents. So this is how you can kind of completely cover playing with your own camel. Or if you just want to put little stickers or just little photos kind of mess, messing around I can show you how to do that and that's what I've done with the i16 here I just plastered a picture of Stalin on there my I was trying to find what looks good my initials so this one I can't really change all of the color because they've they've already installed this color it's not that easy but you can just put a bunch of little stuff on there so I'll show you how I did it for these two the 190 and then the i16 all right, so you know how to download custom skins from Hawkeye and from uh, Grandpa's Hangar. You know how to copy them, put them in the vehicles folder, transfer over to the vehicle, and then you see the skins in there. So you're happy with that. But let's say you want to take it a step further. You want to uh, put your own camo into those skins or add little pictures to be creative, how I showed with the 190D and the i16. So in order to achieve that, the first thing you need to do is download a free editing software which is called paint.net and I did this just to make sure everything works you go to paint just search get paint.net and then uh, you can just go to download here and then where it says download now dot pdn that's for free I went through Windows 10 just to help them out but you can just do free here and then click this don't click anything here and then you come up with the paint.net, install it, and now you can read the, the files of the skins. So once you've installed paint.net from there, how I have showed, you go to the World of Warplanes, open the file location, go to res mods, the current patch, which is 2.1.2.0, vehicles, airplanes, German, and I want to do the FW190D. Before, if you didn't have paint.net, if you tried to open this, it would say could not open. But now since you have paint.net installed, you can open this, which is a DDS file. So when you first open it, uh, right click and say open with, and then choose paint.net. And then after this, it'll always open that by default. So uh, the one we're going to be doing is snow. And as I, you saw in the hangar, when you open it now, you can fully see the actual file. And basically, all these parts that are empty are the metal or polished finish that you see in the garage. And these are the little accents. That's a, kind of like a light bluish color. And then the bottom of the wings. So skins that are empty like this are a lot easier to work with. For example, Marine, it has these little accents, but all this space is empty. And that's easier because we're just basically going to paste our own camo onto that. If you're going to use something like this, which is summer, it's hard to erase all of this because it already has its own paint. So if you ever find an aircraft that has a skin like this, it's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, you're probably best off to just put uh, little photos or little pictures like I did with the i16. But for this one, we're going to choose snow because I want to put a, a blue camo. So you're in the you're in the file like this but before we go further uh, you can just minimize it and you want to find your camel which I already did but we'll go over you just go to Google type in digital camel and I I hit uh, blue and I found this one so you want to find one that doesn't have any stamps from any website that it's on and you want to have one that's a good size you don't want one that's like 400 because uh, you when you stretch it out not going to be see this is 425 by 425 that wouldn't work too well because it's going to be 
a little pixelated when you stretch it out. So just, you could basically really find anything you want here. I chose this one, so it's a good size. I saved it to my desktop. So here's my desktop and here's the photo. I, all I did was save it. So what you do is right click, copy, and then you go back to the paint.net file. So this is what we want. Basically want to superimpose that camo into all the empty spaces. So the first thing you do, uh, this is the first layer. You make a new layer by going to this, this button here, add new layer. And now we're working a layer above this. And then you go here, paste. So we're going to paste our camo. And then you want it to spread it out to cover the entire surface area. So I'm going to just drag it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then hit enter. So now this is the, the canvas that we're going to use to, uh, to add to our aircraft. And once you do that, just click this here so we don't see it anymore. And then go back to the background. And then now we want to only select the blank areas where our blue camel is going to go. So you go to this tool here, magic wand, and you press on one of the empty areas. And you see how just one click, it highlighted almost every single area that's blank. But you see there's like these couple areas didn't get, um, didn't get chosen. So you press control and with the magic wand, you just click until it kind of fills in all the empty spaces. And if it doesn't work, see how it's highlighting the wheel covers? Just hit Control Z and hit Control again until you find the right spot. Nope. See that spot worked? Uh, I'm holding Control and just clicking and filling in these little crevices that I see. So all this will, our camo will be, oh, see that didn't work, Control Z. Our camel will be fully engulfed. I'll just leave that blank. So all these little areas that you can find. All this while holding control. And if you mess up like that, just hit control Z. Uh, let's see if I can get something down here. So it can be a little painstaking. And I mean, you can put, you can put as much detail in it as you want because you're the only one that's going to be seeing it. No other players can can see your skin. So it's if you don't feel like doing all this little stuff, then you really don't have to. But it's just kind of just for fun, you know. Okay, so we have everything that I want to be highlighted is highlighted. So what you do now is you press Control C, so you copy that, and then. You make a new layer by pushing this here with the plus sign. And then you hit control V, which is paste. So now you pasted the copied area onto the onto this layer. And now you can take out the uh, don't look at the background. So all this is going to be filled by our camel. And basically, if you put the, the camel layer back, the one on top, and now you click that layer and then you click merge layer down. So this is going to combine with what we have here, how that's highlighted right now. So you merge that layer down and now this is all one layer. So you hit control copy once again, control copy and you make a new layer and then control V control paste. And now we've pasted our specific cutouts. So if I, if I uh, hide layer three, only, and then you hit enter, the only thing that remains is what we want to remain. So now you click this layer with the with just the camel, and you can delete that. Delete that layer, and now we bring our background back, and you see how it fills in all of the empty spots that we had. So the only thing that's not going to be our camel is the bottom, and then some of the accents of the aircraft. But you're not done yet. You need to go back to the the, the top layer and then you merge it down and now this is all one layer this will show up in the game now but and, and it was saved as marine i believe so it's important to get this all through one layer it's all one and now i'll just hit file save
You can exit out of that. And now when we go into the game files for snow, click it open. Our blue camo is going to be applied to it. So now I'm going to close this and now let's see what it looks like in game. I know it's kind of, it can be kind of confusing. It wasn't that easy, but you can just kind of go back and pause it step by step. Just make sure you, you, you copy and then you add the layers in that order. And then when you select all the empty space, make sure that selection is always there. Cause if the selection goes away, then you have to do it over. So you can find anything you want, any type of camo, just a picture of someone's face. It doesn't even matter. So it was kind of cool just getting into that for myself personally. So now we're back in the game. Uh, let's find the 190D. So this is the hangar. And it has nothing. It's like completely bare because there's no actual skin for it. But we did the winter, right? Or was it marine? Yeah, so for winter. And this is what it looks like. So our camel was just copied onto all the empty spaces and now as you can see everything is everything is filled only the black parts or the accents are not filled but, and it kind of even matches pretty well and then you can see summer it would be very hard to change this one because it already has its own uh, coloring scheme but the person that did this See, they put the, the emblem there. They didn't put anything else, so it does look kind of bare. But that's a basic way that you can put any type of camo you want on your aircraft. So now let's take a look at the I-16 and uh, just add some funny pictures and see how that works. 